as its phase one. Um, the Crusader Intrepid was recently re introduced uh, a few hours ago into the PTU and uh, we finally got our hands on it to see what it's uh, all about. And uh, what we're going to talk about is what I think the purpose of this ship is actually going to be in the Persistent Universe. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let you all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. First and foremost, I think when I initially saw this ship, it didn't really look too good, but like, I think it's the kind of ship that kind of grows on me. Like this, the look, it actually isn't bad. Like this, I think, the rest of the ship looks really good, but I think this this side is where it throws people off. But I, I I'm I'm actually starting to like the ship. Everywhere else is gorgeous. It's a beautiful design. But uh, if you get if you can get past the asymmetric look, I think it's pretty good as well. All right. So now, what's the purpose of this ship? Right before we get into that, a lot of people um, are not too happy with the armament of this ship and the reason being is is it comes with one size three gun and um, it seems like the mount is even the size three at least from what we're hearing right so that means it's it's really not going to be great for combat but perhaps it's not for combat right when i looked at the uh, let's see. Let's let's just get out of jump real quick. When I when I look at the top speed of this thing, right? Let's, the top speed of this thing is around. I mean, look out! Look at the acceleration, right? Right. It takes a matter of seconds for it to hit 1200. 1223 that's its top speed okay so let's let's quickly let's boost like first and foremost i i love these sounds of the engines but cig what i believe is cig built this thing for it's going to be a general purpose ship but its primary focus is also going to be courier missions moving cargo hauling so you don't really need it for combat much and i wouldn't use it for combat much because you're looking at size one components plus one size three gun mount and that's it that's all you got but the advantage of this ship is its immense speed and acceleration so let's look at this right let's try I'm gonna try to boost it to my top speed and see how quickly that goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Around five seconds to hit its top speed. So you can literally escape in combat. So this is, I wouldn't use it for combat, but I would use it if you are, are in, you are beginning a scenario where you are in combat. You can literally escape. Let's see how quickly. Like if you have military components, right? And you have a quick quantum drive that can spool really quickly. So when you switch, the spooling speed of your quantum drive should be super quick. So I, I would say go for military grade, right? I'm not sure which one this one is, uh, probably not military grade, but you go for military grade, which means a very quick spool up. So if you end up in a combat scenario that you're not trying to deal with, you have the speed to get out. You have the speed. They're not going to catch you. I don't know any other ship that's going to catch you except for maybe Firebirds and maybe Buccaneers, but any other ship, they're not going to catch you with this kind of speed and boost. Like you have crazy amount of thrust to get out of dodge. So based on how this thing behaves, I think this thing is just made not primarily for combat, but for everything else. It can escape 
and um, not much. I don't think not much fighters will be able to keep up with it. Not much. So it having the size, just one gun might be okay, especially for a new player. A new player don't expect much, you know, but it's a great ship to start off with, right? You have all this interior space. You have all this interior space when you compare it to other starter ships, right? This will be great for a new player. Having a ship where you have all this interior space, you have some cargo, you know, you have a bed for bed logging, you have everything you would need in, in, in a starter ship, gun racks, you know, you have cargo boxes here. You can even buy a storage box and, and put it in your, your cargo holds like this right just have a quick a, a small little storage box right here um and then you also have some space for other cargo as well right, so i think when i think about it this is what this ship is built for you know but uh then again you guys let me know your thoughts on what we just spoke about in the comments down below before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one